Hi, my name is Mike Heiner from Strategic Asset Protection and today I wanted to talk to you about how to protect your home. Now this is a question that I get asked a lot uh, and most of our clients will all adopt the strategy that I'm about to tell you in order to protect their properties, not just their residential property but also their buy-to-let portfolio as well. So let's jump in. This is a simple basic house, excuse the drawing, but simple basic house, it's owned by Mr. and Mrs. and they own it jointly. That's important to understand. So they own the property jointly, which means that they both own it 100%. So if one of them passes away, the other one will automatically inherit the property 100%. Now from an estate planning point of view, that's not what we want. Because ultimately, if Mr. passes away and Mrs. now goes into care later on, they can start looking at this property because she owns it 100%. So there's a possibility here that this property may have to be sold to pay for care purely because of the way that this property is owned. So what can we do to change this? Well, what we can do is set up a simple strategy. So we've got Mr. and Mrs. here again, we've still got the same house, but what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna change the ownership. We're gonna change it from jointly owned now to tenants in common. What that means is, is that you're gonna own a defined share each. As a husband and wife, it would normally be 50-50, but this can be any percentage, but normally 50-50. So each person here, Mr. and Mrs., they each own 50% of the property. What this now means though, is if Mr. passes away now, his half will be earmarked for a potential trust that we would set up. So on death, his, his will will obviously distribute his half of the value of the house into his trust, which would leave Mrs. owning just half a house. Now she's gonna be, if you want her to be, a trustee and a beneficiary of this trust, so she's still got full control of the property, but physically she only owns half a house. Now if later on Mrs. needs to go into care, well, they can't now come and look at the property because Mrs. only owns half a house. She doesn't own the whole, the whole 100% of the house, which means it can't really be attackable because of the fact she doesn't own it 100%. So just by adopting this simple strategy, changing the ownership from, tenants, uh, from jointly owned to tenants in common and adding in a simple trust each, we've managed to protect this property now against all these different attackable events. I hope that's been helpful.